Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks for you and what it is that you might need any help with. Okay, we're using the Enchanted Map here and the Gilded Tarot. Tarot. The Gilded Tarot. <laughs> tarot. Okay, so <clears throat> let's have a look here for you Aquarius. We are starting with Protecting Treasure interesting Aquarius what is it that you are protecting <sighs> for some of you I feel like you're protecting your reputation for others of you you may have lost a loved one Maybe you're protecting the memories. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look, Aquarius. Protecting treasure. I don't feel like I like the way they came out. Protecting treasure. Because the rainbow's there, but it's like the, the rain is still there, you know? And, yeah, so I kind of like... I don't know. I don't really feel like it's over. Do you know what I mean? But we also have the glowing thing down here. This thing that's glowing. So I, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm in two minds as to what. Hmm. This could be, because this could be, for some of you, this could be about you protecting your heart. We've got the, what is it? The Knight of Cups and the Emperor has come up here. So like, what are you protecting? Maybe you're protecting a family name. Does it matter if I don't work out what you're protecting? No. I don't have to get it spot on. But it's kind of like I, I feel this need that I have to know what it is that you're protecting. You could be protecting your stability. It could be a child that you're protecting. Okay. Um, but with the Emperor here too, you see with the Emperor and the Knight here, Maybe you're protecting your because this person's sitting here alone. So are you protecting your singlehood in a sense of <clears throat> not really singlehood but your individualism? Maybe some of you are afraid that say like if you get into a relationship or into a marriage or or immerse yourself in something um, that is to do with somebody else and this could be in work um, or anything along those lines that you'll lose yourself in that. Mm. Spirit of place, okay. Spirit of place. This reminds me of the Four of Cups energy. Um, and there is four leaves here, as, and it's number four. <laughs> Go. Oh, no, I just dropped it. Hang on a minute. That's interesting that it fell like that. Hey, spirit of place. It's kind of like letting things fall. Like I, I get that from this card before, letting things fall. Um you know, just accepting where things land type of thing. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know, there's something else here. What's this? Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, so you... 
see it's this thing again of like this protection like standing solid you know you can still you can still become involved in things and still be solid in who you are <clears throat> still be, stand in your truth type of thing um the two of wands here there's there's some kind of direction there's there's a, a sort of a um this could be to do with a partnership um but anyway I, I don't always like focusing on the whole love thing because I know that everyone's story is different and it's not always about that. And I personally don't like going into readings where it's all about love all the time, like, because, you know. Um, yeah, but there's, there's this choice that's like a decision that you need to make and it's kind of like there's... It's almost like, though, with this energy here, you don't want to make that decision. It's like it's, there's something you don't want to face. There's something you're ignoring or wanting to ignore. Be and, and Which is interesting, because she wouldn't do that. So maybe this is about standing in that power and just standing in your truth and going, do you know what? This is what I want here. And maybe it's the case that, because um, it's kind of like there's the sense of this is what I should do, but this is what I want to do type of thing. Magical map shifter. Yeah, Aquarius. Yeah, be the magical map shifter. You've got options, you've got choices, you don't know which direction to, to go in. It's kind of a bit like everything's spinning around and around in your head and it's kind of like there's this procrastination happening here. Um, <clears throat> but I do want to say, go with your heart. Go with your heart. Come out of that mind and into this heart and, and make the decision from there, Aquarius, okay? Look at each op each option and go into your heart with it and, and, you know, filter things out, okay? We have the King of Pentacles. You see, the King of Pentacles, he would do that, right? He's a successful man. He knows how to make things work, Um. In, in a way to get the most success out of them you know it's kind of the it, 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 like the emperor you've got some real strong cards here I feel like I feel like maybe for some of you there's a bit of this imposter syndrome going on like oh maybe not imposter syndrome but you're doubting yourself you are doubting yourself and I really don't feel that it's called for because I feel like you do have the answers within but you're, you're not trusting yourself, okay? Yep, eight of cups. Look at this, walking away from what doesn't serve you and going to find that one last, that two last cups, sorry, which is the two of cups, right? And bringing something together. Yeah? It kind of going on, it's like, it's just like you just need to make the decision you know it's kind of like going actually do you know what I don't want to head in that direction I actually want to go this way this is not what I want maybe you've been living your life for someone else and now you're like guess what buddy truth is I don't want to be doing that <clears throat> so yeah this could be something that you have already done as well. Next one up is goblins. This is that, that voice in the head going, you can't do that. What are you doing? Don't be selfish. Don't be this. Don't be that. Who do you think you are? Blah, 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 blah. Right? That little voice hiding in the shadows. Telling you you're unworthy or you're not enough. Or that, you know, how deep? Well, you know, if it's following your heart sometimes, we need to do that. And, you know, you can do that in the most ethical way possible. You can. It's 
excuse me, Aquarius, I just had to sneeze. Um, you know, you can do, you can work out the best way to do that for everyone concerned. Okay, it could even impact a, um, you know, if you, you have a family, it could impact them too. So, you know, this could be something that you're mulling over. Wow. Okay. Yep. Three swords and the ten of pentacles. These two cards here, right? It's like, I want to say with the three of swords, first off, okay, that, that the heartache's done. This could very well be that you have, okay, okay, so some of you have left a relationship, right? You've left a relationship and it's caused some heartache here and maybe you're beating yourself up about that, okay? But the thing is that this endeavour is going to be successful. Um, it could be also, though, that you left a business, you walked away from something, um, and it could very well be that, <sighs> interesting actually, there's the same symbol here, we've got this sun symbol here, and this here, which is super interesting, and I feel like, <laughs> that little mouse there, smiling away there, like, yeah, good job, you did it, look, 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 the treasure, This is the treasure you've been protecting. And maybe this is internal. Maybe this is inside, right? You know, you've got the King of Pentacles here who knows how to do this. He knows how to stash it. He knows how to store it, right? He's not silly. He knows what he's up to. Yeah? Like, wow. So maybe this, maybe this is something you've done for your family. Maybe. Balancing act. It's been a balancing act. See, this is what um, I feel like. <sighs> uh, sorry. I feel like Aquarius, it's more than a balancing act. It's much, much more than that. Um, because you've kind of had to not just balance things, but you've kind of had to, because this ship here is on a tightrope on a really thin ring. Okay. It's not even in the water. So it's really stepping into unknown territory. And then not only that, trying to balance that as well. Because, you see, this was known. This was known ter territory. And you turned around and went another way that you hadn't been. You didn't even go back the same way you came. You know, oh, see, we've got the King of Swords here. And with this balancing act here, I feel like... There's the sun again. There's the symbol of the sun again. I feel like this has helped everything to, or, or it's helping everything to come into alignment. It's like getting everything where it needs to be. Right? Bringing everything together as it needs to be because... It's like something wasn't quite right. There was something out of place. And it's almost like you turning and going in the other direction or needing to turn and go in the other direction is actually about getting things in the right place, right? Yeah, see? I thought there was heaps of cards there. Um, 
see, we've got the chariot here. And this is triumph over difficult times. And then we have the sun. Like, far out. It's like, it's kind of like the, the end, two ends of the spectrum kind of thing. Like, you know, because here we have this, right? And now we have this. Sorry, let me just get that here, right? And so it's it's kind of like, this energy here and you know you've been an air sign this is you i feel right this is you yeah encompassing these qualities or at least needing to to some degree right The sun, it keeps popping up now, which is interesting because I don't normally notice it on these cards, even though it's right on the back, but <laughs> um, it's here as well. And, you know, you're headed towards the sun. That's why it was jumping out, obviously, which is so funny because I did think that before, but I didn't say it. Usual thing, right? Should have seen it, but I've seen it. Ghostlands. Ghostlands. This, I feel like, for some of you, especially with this Goblins card here, some of you are letting your past haunt you. Um, things that are done and dusted may be coming back up, okay? Maybe just, you know, to be put to rest once and for all. Um, very interesting, this coming up now. Where are we? Something flip over there. I'm sure it did. New journey. Yeah. Okay. So it's this that's done and dusted. It's this new journey. Okay. This um and and even if there's is something coming up from the past and you're starting this new journey here, remember to have faith. Okay. Take this leap of faith because as you can see here. There's all the symbols of the zodiac here, right? So this is a cycle that's done and dusted. And we've got the same symbols here, but they're all lit up because this is a new cycle that is about to begin. And it's going to be a new journey. I think some of you may be afraid that it's just going to be the same old thing come up, but it's not. It's going to be a new journey, right? It's going to be a new journey. Yeah, because the king of wands... It, it, this is about passion, right? He knows how to do this, yeah? And you've got the, em did you have the emperor? Here it is. You know, you you have it within you to know how to do this. It's just things like this, letting the past haunt you, listening to this voice, this inner critic, okay? Um... And focusing on things like this that may, you know, this could be a balancing act, Aries. But the thing is, you have the ability to be able to do that. Because, yes, the boat is out of water. But you also have the, the rope and the ring to help it along to get it back. Because it's like something needs to be put back into place. Or, or it's like going to where you belong type of thing, you know. Education, educating yourself. Um, I want to say about this, actually, let me just, with this magical shapeshifter here, okay, um, I want you not to focus on, um, I want you to see the magical side of things, okay, because it's like this girl here, she's reading this book, right, she's focusing on the words, and she's not even seeing this magic about this, and we've got this stalk here, which um, I don't know if it's a stalk, but anyway, it is in my mind. Um, to see the magic of what is being birthed, okay, to really dream big, 
okay because it's kind of like some of you are so in your head about how am I going to make this work and what am I doing because I don't want this you know to come up and and all this to go bad and the goblins are at your ear going oh yeah don't do that because that's just you know you're not going to be able to do that um you need to invest your energy into the magic of what you are creating. I'm kind of excited for you. And that's just it. You need to get excited about it, Aquarius. Right? You need to understand that the magical shapeshifter is you. And embrace that. Embrace that energy. Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. See this page here. He's 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 about to learn how to use this wand, right? He doesn't know how to use it, but he's not letting it's and that's kind of that thing. It's like, well, you haven't had this journey, but don't let that put you off. Like, see that this this wand here can be listened into this, and how amazing is it gonna be when it is? You know, like like well, that's where you're headed towards. So so get excited about it rather than maybe just concentrating, oh, yeah, well, that's going to take work and it's going to be a long journey and I'm going to have to do this, this, and this. Yeah, and do it, right? Do it because it's going to be worth it, yeah? And, um, and, and it's definitely, if this is to do with work, because we've got this one come up here in education, like it could be that you're studying or you're heading in another direction career-wise, okay? And and this is great because this, I just see you honestly putting in the work, yeah. And we've got, we had the Ten of Pentacles pop up somewhere, right? And I love this because he's the little mouse here, like he's so in the moment with the guy. He's so like, oh yeah, okay, so what are we doing now? And, you know, okay, we're doing this and, and we're making these pentacles and we're, you know, um, we, we, we're working hard and then it gets to the team and he's like, no, oh, that was so worth it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of like to feel like this is you working hard for what you want and it's definitely worth it. Okay, and I do want to say about this, you see, because I noticed the spider here has the spider web. I hope you can see that okay. Has the spider web here, right? And the spider web is not like every other spider web that you see. It's a different kind of spider web, and I feel like this is what this is about. If you learning to do things a bit differently so it has your unique mark on whatever it is you do okay solitude taking time out seeing how you can build something seeing how you can rebuild something maybe for some of you also i want to say seeing how it is Seeing how it is that you can sort of like rise, raise your vibration, to be honest with you, um, so that your light can, can shine brighter. Some of you need to put some effort into raising your vibration, okay? Because um, for some of you it might be quite low. Especially with this kind of energy coming up in the ghost lands as well and the goblins. Goblins. I keep saying gom, gom. I don't even know how to say it. So I can't even say it the way I said it, which I don't think was right. Um, yeah. Oh. We've got the Ace of Pentacles here. First off, Ace of Pentacles. New venture. You're on your way to something new. And then you have justice here. And my gosh, my gosh, see the sun here again, right? But see, I'm noticing here, this is what I was talking about before, this this light here, this fire here, setting this on 
fire right um and also the other thing here where is this card because i do make a mess aquarius i really do <laughs> i'm like i'd love to show you the cards right now but also i wouldn't love to show you because they are such a mess anyway um both have their eyes blindfolded right trusting the process knowing that uh, kind of like really having that faith <sighs> especially with the full card here, having the faith that this is going to work out the way it's meant to, like everything's going to fall into place, okay? And um, and again, this justice is like getting this balance, you know? Just like we had with that other card here, balancing act, right? Okay, so let's have a look here. Last card, Spark. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, just bear with me, Aquarius, why I find the appropriate cards. <laughs> okay, so we have this, and we have this, and we have this. And this dude, we'll use him too. Um, anything else? Let's have a little look scene. No, nah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Um, okay, so spark. Here, spark, right? This guy here. Wand. He's going to find what's inside of him. He's discovering it. Okay, he's looking at all his options so he can find this spark here. Yeah. yeah? Is the magician? No. Anyway. You know, and here is these three cards here. With that lit in. With that spark lit in. So it's kind of like finding the spark within you, Aquarius. Find it within you. And that's that sun. I like shining your light bright, right? shining it bright because for some of you it's like you know this heartache has happened or this 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 thing that you know the, the three of swords wherever that is um has happened okay um but that's still kind of like playing the same tune and that could be those goblins at work going don't forget when you did this that this happened you have to shut them down because they will hold you back because that's their job, right? They're the ones that cause this lighthouse to stop working. And um, and that's that internal guidance system, right? The lighthouse is a guidance system to guide you through the dark times, to guide you to brighter times, to guide you to the sunshine, wherever that is in this mess of chaos. You know, this is what it's about, right? See, the guide. Be the guide. You are the guide. You can lead the way. You're the emperor, for goodness sakes. You're also the king of swords and the queen of swords and all these other king of wands. You know, you're everything that you need. There's nothing lacking in you, Aquarius. Nothing lacking whatsoever. Just kick those goblins out because they're no longer welcome. And they, they they don't have a place in your home or your head anymore. Page of Cups. Learning to love yourself. Learning to love yourself. Love it. And the last card. The world. Look at this. You know, in the world... Look, it turns and everything is turning for you, okay? And sometimes when it turns, you know, it's not always smooth sailing. You know, there's trials and tribulations. But what I love, 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 love is the sun that pops up so many times. Look, it's on the pentacles. Look, it's on all these pentacles. You know, this is an amazing, amazing energy here. But there's just these few things that you need to work out for yourself. And that is knowing that you are enough. Knowing that you are worthy. And treating yourself like you are 
the emperor or the empress, whatever, right? Because you are in loving yourself accordingly. Okay, Aquarius, so I will leave that with you. And please come back and have a look at this if you need to be reminded of it. Okay, every day if you need to, to remind yourself of who you are. Okay, okay, please share and comment and like and subscribe and do all that wonderful stuff because these readings are free and it's so that exchange of energy. Okay, Aquarius, take care of your beautiful selves. See you, bye-bye.